Hi, everyone. So with the coronavirus and the financial crisis and the locust plagues and so forth, I think we will see the worst coming out of many people, whether it be fear or despair or greed, selfishness, rudeness, or confusion. And we may ask, will there be restoration? Well, last night I had a dream that I believe gives a picture of what restoration will look like and showed the reality and the truth of ultimate restoration. In my dream, a gardener or maybe a farmer or a harvester was standing in a barren field of dirt with empty rows. He leaned over and recovered two trophies that had been lost. He restored the trophies after brushing off the snow that covered them. This dream reminded me of the end time book of the prophet Joel. Chapter 2 verse 25 says, God will restore the years the locusts have eaten. God is the gardener in my dream. The empty fields have been ravaged by the locusts, which affects finances much like the coronavirus. The lost and recovered trophies in my dream represent not only the loss and recovery of crops and finances, they also represent people who are lost in the messy dirt of life. The gardener wants lost people to be found. The multiple trophies represent the multi-year effect of the crisis, but also the restoration of the people and the land who received double for their trouble, so to speak. The gardener brushing off the snow represents God's mercy and compassion, blotting out people's transgressions and washing them whiter than snow. Verse 26 of the second chapter of Joel tells us this restoration will be physical. You will eat and be satisfied and spiritual. You will praise the name of the Lord God who has dealt wondrously with you. Will this restoration occur soon on earth? And or because the book of Joel is prophetical and an end times book is the restoration they are speaking of eternal. Don't leave that answer to chance and be ready for eternity. Pray with the psalmist King David in the 51st chapter of Psalms. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion. Blot out my transgressions. Wash me and I will be whiter than snow. When you turn to God, you are God's reward, his trophy for sending his son Jesus to die on the cross for your sins. You are Jesus' reward for the pain and suffering he endured. You are the reward of all who shared the good news with you, and the Lord God is your reward. And all the inheritance you receive is your reward, brothers and sisters in Christ, and many spiritual blessings in heavenly places, along with eternal rewards for all your good deeds. So receive the Lord Jesus Christ today if you haven't already. He is our eternal reward, and we will be rewarded abundantly by His grace. We thank you and praise you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, amen.